new bishop in a rural diocese, I'm discovering the critical need for rain in our various regions. Toowoomba has had good rain for the beginning of Holy Week. However, I'm told that a good amount of this precious gift has come to the western parts of our diocese as well. The wonder of our countryside, covered with green life, always delights and offers hope to our farmers and producers. We are always looking for signs of life that come through the simple things of rain and flourishing vegetation. Easter comes again to refresh the thirst in our lives that needs quenching. Like times of drought, we long for the life that comes from above. So also in our inner life, for our spiritual journey is marked by the need for our difficulties and questions to be answered and appreciated. Our world is dreadfully marked by death at this particular time. War in Israel and Gaza, Ukraine and Russia leave us staggered by the senseless loss of life, especially children and their parents. Our hearts grieve at the irrationality of it all. And even closer to home, aspects of death and dying are never far. Your Holy Week may be marked by bereavement or loss of some kind. Wherever there is death and despair, we look to the Easter message to speak deep into our hearts again. And like the rain that comes and waters the earth, God has shone a light into the very heart of darkness that seems to surround us. A light that can never go out. The light of Easter. And while we joyfully proclaim this, however, the full embracing of this in our lives and our hearts is always a journey of discovery. While we proclaim that Christ is risen, we still see the signs of darkness around us. If we allow the reign of God's love to guide us, in our quest to discover the risen Christ within every aspect of our lives, then despair, sadness, and even death will be smothered by undying hope and new possibilities. Easter blessings to you and your loved ones.